Hey, this is Carl, and today we're going to do a uh, collection tour. This is probably the most requested, the most uh, awaited video in the channel. So finally, I'm going to do it today. And so I'm just going to show you guys the statue in my collection. I'm gonna uh, tell you why I bought it and maybe how I feel about it now. Okay, so to start, we have here the uh, Ultra Instinct Goku statue. He is currently at the review table because we are doing a review of it now. So like I said in the review video, the only reason I bought this is because someone commented that this might be a statue of the year. And when I looked at it, it actually looks pretty good. So that kind of convinced me on uh, purchasing it. So how I feel about it is it definitely looks pretty good. Definitely over-engineered. A lot of pieces doesn't fit all that well, but I guess that's part of statue collecting uh, since some statues do warp or change uh, shape during shipping. I've already dealt with that already, so that's not really a big deal for me. So this is a pretty nice Goku if you're into the whole uh, Ultra Instinct style. And since we're in the studio, we're going to start here in the studio. So first statue here on the bottom is the Phoenix Force uh, Namor. I originally just bought this statue because I wanted to join their group. And since I got this Namor leaning and eventually the uh, right foot cut off, I then uh, sent it to a painter, have it modified and repainted into a ordinary Namor. So yeah. Anyway, next is we have this pretty good Scarlet Spider. The only reason I bought this is because I wanted a Scarlet Spider-Man in my collection. And I wanted a uh, Spider-Man on crouching poses. So I still really love this uh, Scarlet Spider-Man. I actually bought a uh, aftermarket head for this one and I'm looking forward for that one. I've already paid for shipping. And yeah, this is probably one of the Spider-Mans that, that's not gonna leave my collection. And speaking of leaving my collection, the next is we have this museum type uh, Caleb Spider-Man. I have him painted this metallic shiny color. He kind of likes Iron Man now. Anyway, uh, this is a Del Otto Spider-Man as you can see here. The portrait is here and the eyes switch out is here. I'm actually considering selling this statue simply because I think there are other medium type Spider-Mans that are coming that I'm more interested in. And it does come with this uh, small add-on like a symbiote. This is not part of the sculpt, but you know, the painter added that here. I mean there. Okay, next is we have this symbiote Spider-Man from Sideshow. Okay, so the only reason I bought this is because of the price. I mean, all side show are priced pretty good. And no regrets there. Definitely a pretty good statue still. Uh, one of the better symbiote statues around for sure. And yeah, like I said, the price is hard to beat. Next is we have another symbiote Spider-Man, but this time it's a custom one. And it's actually holding one of my custom infinity gauntlet there kind of like the end game so this is not i didn't so i did not bought this statue but this was sent to me and thank you for that this is actually a pretty good uh alternative to the sideshow one since this one is quite cheap and we're actually doing a giveaway uh with this statue and by the time the video is up i would have probably chosen the winner already next is we have the cruel wolf wolverine head it's just laying here and we have the claws of the prototype here and there is apparently a lot of them okay next is we have this future foundation spider-man i originally did not buy this i just bought it last minute i chose to get this because i don't think there's gonna be a better future foundation spider-man and i kind of like the pose it's not really crouching but I think it's almost there. Plus, I really like the sculpt that Steven did on this one. I might get this repainted someday, but it's not really a priority since 
the original paint is already good enough next is we have the the auto spider-man which is related to this image spider-man this is just the blue red version this is also given to me so i really did not buy it but i actually like it more than i thought the sculpt looks pretty good. The price is definitely uh, very competitive to Sideshow. And yeah, it's a pretty good statue. It's not bad actually. I might actually want to repaint this to a more Del Otto type of thing. Next is we have the Iron Studios uh, exclusive switchouts. I mean, the head is the exclusive one, but the torso is the regular one. So I just have it here. Uh, I thought I would do something about it to display it, but I didn't find a way. So it's currently just hiding here. Next is we have a bunch of heads. So this is the Cruel Wolf Wolverine uh, portrait. This is from the prototype itself. It's not a production unit. It's here because I need to uh, sand the keyhole a bit because it won't fit the body. Next is we have its unmasked portrait, broke uh, hair and I can't find it, same problem, won't fit with the body, and lastly is the uh, one with the short cowl, still won't fit with the body. And we have this Mario here at the back, this is actually not a statue, it's plastic, I just found this uh, in a bunch of toys from my nephew and they didn't want it anymore so they gave it to me. Next is again not the statue and we have this uh, Hot Toys Iron Man Mark III. So this was their 10th year anniversary figure. This is a quarter scale. I think this is the first one that they did but I'm not so sure. And I was so desperate to own a uh, Iron Man back then so I decided to buy it. My regrets is I don't want to buy another Hot Toys statue. I really hate this transparent rod here at the back. If only they don't uh, do that. But anyway, it is what it is. Next is a custom Iron Man. This is the Mark V from the Iron Man 2 movie. I really love this one. The paint is actually spot on and is very, very similar to that of the Iron Studios Iron Man. So no regrets uh, purchasing this one. And here are some of its switch out. I am currently displaying the damaged version of this Iron Man and the clean version is here on its stand. Next is we have this Thanos and Death Diorama. The Infinity Gauntlet below which is the symbiote one holding is actually from this statue. And the reason I bought this is because I love Thanos. I do have a few of them and this was a kind of no-brainer pre-order for me since it's a diorama and so far i still really like it a lot although uh, i see a lot of posts that you know they are saying that this one is underscaled but it still looks pretty good in my opinion plus it's a museum type statue it doesn't take a lot of space even though it's a diorama and we have here next is the torso switch out and the portrait switch out for a custom hawkeye uh, the statue itself is actually downstairs so we're gonna talk about it more later. Next is we have Sideshow's Silver Surfer. This is actually my first Daniel Bell statue. Uh, this is the exclusive one. As you can see, Nova is here below. I do have a few uh, custom accessories bought. I bought a custom Galactus hand that this surfer can rest on and I bought some uh, add-ons that you can put on both his hands so that surfer could flex his cosmic powers next is we have this like paperweight uh, this is just like a meme from a custom studio he likes to make fun of sculpt uh, he likes to make fun of sculpts that add this uh, fire hydrant water hydrant to their uh, statues anyway this is from the hawkeye statue this hawkeye Next is we have this custom rocket. The only reason I bought this is because it was very, very cheap for a custom statue and the scope looks pretty good. 
it's definitely better than a sideshow sculpt in my opinion and i thought that i would collect the whole uh, guardians of the galaxy however the uh, studio decided to not continue the line so i'm stuck here with a custom rocket though the scope is pretty good might as well try and collect the line slowly last statue here in the studio is we have this flashpoint batman i did not buy this batman actually this was also given to me this is actually the first uh, dc comic statue that i have and so far, I'm really liking what they did with the base. Maybe a few alterations in the paint on the body. But anyway, this is a very unique Batman statue. And so far, it looks pretty good. That's why I'm still displaying here it at my studio. Okay, so like I said, I literally did not clean up, but anyway, the audio here might be echoey because this is not sound treated. So this is uh, outside the studio. The studio is actually just here. So this is like my small X-Men collection, so I don't have a lot actually. Anyway, here is the custom Apocalypse. I bought this one because the studio gave me a monthly plan before this is probably like my second or third custom pre-order and it took this such almost three years to ship and it's actually not fully shipped yet uh, a few of the coils has not yet arrived actually so i can't display apocalypse with the other switch out which is the weapons like the guns the drill and the claw thing anyway speaking of first this is my very first statue this is the Sideshow Magneto Paquette. I'm not sure if that was correct. Anyway, this is my very first statue. This is the very first one that I got here. This is from my friend who invited me to collect statues. So thanks to him, I started collecting statues. I probably have more statues than him by now. Anyway, I think this is a very underrated statue. That's why I still have it here. Uh, next one is this XM Omega Red. The only reason I bought this one and the XM Sabertooth is because I think the price was fairly cheap and the edition size was quite low and I really really thought that the prices on both these statues would go up. I actually bought this instead of that custom Omega Red, the one that's crouching, the one that's really really good. Uh, small regret there, so I've already pre-ordered a different Omega Red. So I'm going to dispose uh, of this one. However, I really like Sabertooth, so he might just stay there. Okay, yeah, so before I forget, actually one of the bounce or the hair from Sabertooth broke and I couldn't find it, it's not even in the box. However, Omega Red uh, didn't have any problems, but something I don't like about this statue is his belt here, actually, or sometimes quite loose, especially at the back. And the snow paint here are very fake, like I could paint this like this, it looks pretty bad, it doesn't even look like that it's snow, might as well remove it. Anyway, going up, we have another XM statue and we have Iceman. This is what, the one that turned yellow, it's actually already yellow when I got it. And that's uh, too bad, but I'm going to consider having this repainted. I actually bought this Iceman because it does have a danger room base, and that's the base I wanted my X-Men collection to be. And surprise, all my X-Men collection has had all different bases. Next is, I have the Beast Gambit. The only reason I bought this is because uh, it looks pretty cute. I like the concept. Uh, it's not a throne, but I think it could be considered a throne statue. Uh, I really want this to be repainted. I don't like a lot of the paints that was used, but it's not really a priority. Still looks pretty good. Next is we have the Sideshow Deadpool Premium Format. I'm not sure if this is a premium format, but this is definitely the exclusive version. As you can see, we have the cable doll here 
on his belt. The only reason I bought this is because it's cheap and uh, I really wanted a Deadpool statue that doesn't look corny since 90% of them uh, looks corny to me. Next is we have Nova. Uh, this statue was given to me again. I really like this one because it has a flying pose and I have a different Nova that's not flying which is a little bit disappointing. However, I think the scale on this is a bit wrong. Looks like that it's one and three feet. Uh, anyway, still looks pretty good. I did ha encounter a lot of issues. I mean, one issue with the assembly on this one, especially on the leg. I do hope that it won't uh, be a problem over time. Okay, moving on is we have this new shelf that I built. Uh, doesn't have lights yet, however, the light below is working. And the one on top isn't, which is too bad. Anyway, here we have the Berserker Wolverine. The reason I bought this is because the prototype looks pretty good. I didn't buy this based on the renders. And yeah, it, it totally did not disappoint. However, I did receive him with a few breaks. But as you can see, you cannot even see where the breaks are since it's at the far part of the, I mean, the back part of the statue. And yeah, nothing wrong with it. Looks still pretty good. And here are its extra portraits on its pretty cool torso stand. Next is we have the Cruel Wolf Wolverine. So uh, I'm going to be sending this to a painter since I want this converted to a different kind of Wolverine. More on that uh, when I get this back. So not gonna spoil you guys on what I'm gonna do with it. Still gonna be Wolverine, of course. Next is we have the custom Sephiroth. The only reason I bought this because uh, it doesn't take a lot of space because of the big wings. Some of the Sephiroths I see does have some very big wings. This is, however, uh, pretty displayable in my opinion. However, but I did forget that his sword, the Masamune, is quite long, so it's still a bit hard to display. I'm not sure if this will fit here once I've installed the glass. But this is definitely a pretty good separate statue. Would definitely recommend this for you guys if you are looking for a separate statue. Next is we have both my Thanos on Thrones. This is the Sideshow Thanos on Throne, just the regular one. I thought I got the exclusive one, but turned out I only got the regular. But I do like the regular portrait uh, better than the exclusive, so it's not that bad. But you know, the exclusive one would have been a nice have. So this is like a grail to me, a personal grail like I mentioned. So I really, really love this statue. This is probably the best Thanos statue you could own. And moving on to the right is King Thanos. I didn't even know why I bought this statue. It looks pretty, pretty big. It actually dwarfed the Sideshow one. But the sculpt looks pretty good. The paint, the quality, everything looks pretty good. Would we'll definitely recommend this if you guys are looking for a King Thanos on Throne or just a Thanos on Throne. Both of these statues are the best Thanos on Throne statues in the market. And yeah, there's nothing else you would want to own besides this. Next is we have the second cabinet that I built. The first one is actually this. Might as well start here. Okay, so on top we have Queen Studios Mark 7. The only reason I bought this is because it's Iron Man and I wanted to complete the line. No regrets, although the paint is not glossy, I... Uh, dealt with that and I'm fine with it even though if all the statues not gonna be glossy I'm gonna be fine with that as long as I collect the entire line next is we have the sideshow mark 43 not even sure I bought this statue because I found it locally at a pretty good price I think it was like 300 US dollar ship so I jumped on it and yeah I really hate the paint on Iron Man it looks very dull I definitely gonna consider have this repainted someday.
have here my sort of MCU corner. This is the Iron Studios uh, Endgame Thanos Deluxe version. So I really love this Thanos. This is actually like a personal grail back then. But looking at it now, I think I've grown tired of it. Maybe a repaint will refresh my love for this statue. But I'm not gonna sell it. Definitely the best uh, MCU Thanos for sure. Oh, the King Studios one is also pretty good, the throne one, but I already have a lot of thrones. Moving on is we have the Ion Studios Ion Spider-Man. Uh, I actually bought this more than retail because I was desperate to own the statue. This is my very first Ion Studios statue. It was actually fairly hard to assemble him. I even encountered a few problems that Sideshow never got back to me. But I still think it looks pretty good. I do hate a few of its stuff, like the one they did on the boots. Uh, they added some mud or dust, which I really, really hate. Anyway, still looks pretty good, but I think I like the Queen Studios one better. It's smaller, plus it has the uh, Infinity Gauntlet. Next is we have the Iron Studios Ant-Man S and Wasp. This is not quarter scale, this is their one tenth uh, scale of the character. The only reason I bought this is because I thought that uh, Ant-Man and Wasp can change size so they're, they're gonna fit uh, okay with my collection even though I'm purely one fourth scale. And so far it looks pretty good and the wing fall off, I'm gonna fix that later. And next is we have this custom Hulk. You won't believe the price I bought this. It's actually just 1,000 US dollar. And right now, I don't think you could still buy a Hulk on that price. This is actually one and three fifth scale. As you can see, he is bigger, way bigger than Thanos. The only reason I bought this is because I really love the portraits. But the portrait that I wanted, I'm not even using it since I'm using a supposed to be Mark Ruffalo portrait. Since I wanted to match the MCU theme. Okay, moving on to the next layer. Okay, this is uh, the display beside the MCU area. We have a custom Red Hulk here. I chose the Red Hulk because I found that this portrait is the best among the three portraits the green and the curvy Hulk. I bought this Hulk because I wanted it to be a companion piece to my other Hulk. Then I found out that Red Hulk is supposed to be bigger than the regular Hulk. So I did not display them together because the other one is 1 and 3 fifth and this one is 1 fourth. Next is this classic Iron Man. The one I said was a poor man's version of XM Iron Man. This one is actually pretty good. It just needs a repaint to give it more life. This is from a sort of scammer group now. Not sure if they're gonna still be a scammer. Hopefully not. Hopefully they deliver the other statues that they have promised. And here next to it is we have the custom Thanos. I think this is the very first of the Thanos that I received. But I could be wrong. Anyway, I'm displaying him without the sword because I don't like it and the MC one is already using the sword. And I only bought this is because I wanted to be a Thanos completist back then, but now I don't want that anymore. So there's definitely a few regrets, especially that it wasn't painted pretty good and I could have wished that they did uh, it better. Okay, let's... Okay, next is we have the Magneto corner of my display. So this is a custom Magneto from the same group as the Neymar one. Uh, I actually did not pre-order this. This belongs to my friend. But during the unboxing, I broke the cape and my friend offered to sell this statue to me at a very discounted price since I broke it. <laughs> so I bought it. And anyway, it's not that bad once, you know, I got a lot of more Magnetos on different costumes. I do have the XM White Magneto, but it's broken for the second time. It's actually currently at the painters, and I'm hoping that we will start working on it, so 
I could get him soon. Okay, next is a Chimli Magneto. Uh, this one is actually pretty good. This is actually from the Scammer Group RCB. Uh, a different studio bought the sculpt and actually produced the statue. This was originally be a one-third statue, but of course they made it one-fourth, which is you know a better decision in my opinion. And I'm actually quite happy that my cape did not come broken since a lot of collectors did receive theirs uh, cape broken. Okay, next is we have the Black Magneto. This is actually not in the comics. I just wanted him painted black. Uh, I bought this statue because I wanted to join uh, Gem Mint's custom group. This is actually produced by Gem Mint. And um, since he has stopped collecting custom and producing custom, that was too bad. However, I think the scope looks pretty good, but the quality is quite bad since this is actually made in the Philippines. Uh, but however, I think the black paint, the darker tones, kind of saved the statue. Okay. okay, moving on to the Wolverine corner of my collection. So this is the Wolf Killer version 2. This is sculpted by Eric Sosa. The only reason I bought this is because I wanted to own a Wolf Killer statue. And I thought the version 2 would be good enough. But my heart still belongs to the OG, so I'm going to hunt for that someday, but not now. Next is we have the Cruel Wolf prototype. So, so this is actually the prototype that was painted by Hive Studio. And this is the one that I'm going to display because the uh, production one is I'm going to have it repainted to a different Wolverine. And next to that is we have the... Mm, X-Force Wolverine by Franco Carlissimo. This is my only Franco statue actually. And the scope looks pretty good. The only reason I bought this is because it's by Franco and I wanted to own my very first Franco statue. And it totally did not disappoint. Um, I'm thinking that if you pair Franco with a pretty good commissioner, then the production, I mean the outcome will definitely be priceless like this Wolverine. Next and my last Wolverine in the collection is this Alex Ross inspired Wolverine. So this Wolverine did not come out in the comics. This is, was a sketch by uh, Alex Ross that some studio actually produced it. This was supposed to be like a series of museum type Wolverines. The second one was supposed to be the first appearance but they cancelled it. Now I'm stuck with this Wolverine with no other Wolverines uh, to match it, which is too bad. Anyway, I still love this statue since they did capture the art uh, pretty good. It's almost like a carbon copy. Uh, this one has actually increased its price a bit, like times two or times three, but I'm not really looking to sell this one since, you know, it's quite a unique statue. Okay, so next we have this Agent Venom. This is actually from the Gemmin group as well. I bought this because I wanted to join their group and back then I wanted to be in all groups. So that's the reason why I bought it. Funny thing is, uh, I actually have two of them. This was uh, sent to me in advance and the, uh, the factory's quality is actually pretty bad, like really, really bad. As you can see, I don't have all the tendrils anymore because they've already broken and the paint is just, you know, very bad. It's not acceptable. So the studio gave me another one, which is the one here on the left. They're actually just the same. I'm just using different portraits. Since I already have this, might as well uh, display him. Next is we have the American Carnage. I did display him without the American flag because I'm not a fan of that. I want him to be, you know, to match the other Spider-Man related statues here. The sculpt here looks pretty good. Could have been a little bit improvement on the paint, but, you know, it still looks pretty good. Next is a Iron Spider-Man from the very famous RCB group. I really thought that I would get scammed by this uh, studio. However, good thing is they actually shipped mine before they decided to be scammers. So the reason I bought this is back then I wanted to collect 
a comic version and an MCU version of you know certain characters. So I do have Iron Spider-Man below. So I wanted them to sit next together, but the, I kind of changed my mind, you know, as I go along my collecting journey. And I still love this statue, still looks really good. I still love this more than the XM one because it's shiny, kind of looks like Iron Man. And yeah. Okay, next we're going to the home theater or the movie room. I do have a few statues here, that's two of them. I displayed the sort of out of scale statues here. Okay. So here we have the only two statues that I have here. So this is the custom Doctor Doom on throne. I really really wanted to dispose this Doctor Doom but a friend of mine painted his eyes uh, black and green and that friend of mine died so I didn't want to sell it anymore since it's kind of sentimental to me that uh, you know a friend tried to make this uh, Doom better. Next here is we have the Sideshow Iron Man. I think this is the OG one. I'm not sure. I actually did not buy this. A pretty good Malaysian collector friend uh, gave this to me. And the hand is actually broken and I still not managed to fix the hand. But I will definitely do that soon. And here is the portrait switch up. I actually have the unboxing video of this. I just did not upload it. Okay, so this is the last display here at my home. This is actually the entrance or home to the main doors here. So let's start here from the bottom. This is from the famous RCB group. I just realized I have a lot of statues from RCB. They do make a lot of pretty good statues. This is their Doctor Doom on Chrome. I actually bought this because the factory who produced it found out that they had a few more stocks left and the price was at retail plus the shipping was pretty good because I do have a forwarder from China. This is actually my very first Caleb Nefsen uh, sculpt. I think this Doctor Doom still holds up and it's definitely worth owning or buying if you want a Doctor Doom statue. I do prefer this more than the other Doom on Throne and the one from Sideshow. Next is... We have my custom repaint Silver Surfer. Well, kind of looks like Black Silver Surfer now. But he is supposed still to be a Silver Surfer. So this is custom painted. And I chose to have this like chameleon blue purple kind of paint because I really wanted to own a Silver Surfer with this one. And the paint on Surfer is supposed to be Alquad uh, Chrome. And I thought that it's already good enough it's supposed to be one or two more coats to make him uh, lighter not gonna have him repaint that again I'm good with that and in case you're wondering why the statues are on top of this like crate it's because uh, my home do get flooded when the rain is pretty bad so I don't want to panic and you know move statues so you know I put them here Okay, so next is we have my Avengers collection. This is not my final Avengers collection. Uh, we have the Iron Studios Iron Man. I do want to display him next to my other MCU Iron Mans uh, later when I do have a bigger place or and when I can display them together. But for now, he will be there. 
And next is we have my Daniel Bell Sideshow Captain America. I bought this because you know this is the only Captain America that I want to own due to the base and I want all my Avengers to be on a Ultron related kind of base. So this is definitely a must own for me. Next to him is we have Hawkeye. I can't own Hawkeye. It's quite heavy. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is a custom Hawkeye. The torso you saw above is, you know, a switch out from this Hawkeye. I bought this back then because it was quite hype and I wasn't even into Avengers yet. Uh, but now since I'm into Avengers, that was a pretty good buy. No regrets, but I do want both of these statue repainted because, you know, the paint on the shield looks pretty good. I mean, pretty bad. It doesn't even look like that it's metal. And as for Hawkeye, I do want some metallic purples on him. So I'm just gonna do metallic purples and metallic blues on Captain America. Okay, so we have XM's Thanos, the regular version. Uh, I think I bought this because I thought the regular one was pretty good and I do still think that it's still pretty good. And I do not want to own the Lady Death, which is quite tall. And no regrets, still looks pretty good. I'm gonna definitely maybe move him out when I could have more Avengers on the Ultron kind of base. But if not, you know, I could still display him next to Ultron himself. Okay, next is we have the XM um, Ultron. I think this is the only Ultron statue around. Anyway, I think this is probably the best licensed statue that I have here in my collection. And although it came with a few problems, I've already grown to accept them. So this is a must-have for me since this is an Ultron vs. Avenger setup. And last year, yes, we have Spider-Man. Um, this is almost technically not an Ultron related base because it's not on the same kind of platform. However, I'm gonna take it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna see a Spider-Man again with a similar kind of base. And plus, this is actually Ultron. However, the shield is definitely a bummer because Captain America does have his own shield there. But this is actually part of a uh, Del Auto drawing. So that's why it's there. It's inspired from that. Okay, up top is we have my what do you call this asgardian collection this is actually my first uh fomo or fear of missing out pre-order this is the old king thor and i only bought it because like i said it was a fomo pre-order but so far i did not regret it i believe this came out from the best uh, factory in the uh market the production looks pretty good it's i feel like it was painted by a pro and I really like the small things they added, like this like snow dust thing that is like uh, sugar. And the paint on the armor is second to none. I really, really love this statue. And I'm definitely glad that I bought it. Next is we have Gore. This is actually what Gore looks like, not the one from the movie. And I did encounter a lot of problems with the statue. The brakes are still there and I'm still using the only portrait that I could use. Uh, I still know word from the commissioner. I really hope I get a like, you know, help in case I do want to send it to a painter. I still have a few more Asgardian collections coming. Hopefully I don't get scammed because there's rumors that one of the commissioners actually saw you. The next and the last is we have my Annihilator collection. So here we have Beta Ray Bill kills Galactus. This is actually not part of the Annihilator line, but Beta Ray Bill is. But I don't have any other Beta Ray Bill statues. Anyway, anyway. Uh, I bought this statue because the producer is from the Philippines and I think this was actually produced from the Philippines. And this one looks pretty good and actually my first statue that I did try to hunt and I was quite surprised to see that it was, you know, here available in the Philippines and the price was actually very cheap. 
Plus the shipping is also even cheaper because it's local. The paint here is actually pretty bad. I do want to have this custom painted someday, but it's not really a priority since it's quite big and I don't want to ship it. Okay, next to that, in front is we have Nova and this is actually the Annihilator line that I am currently collecting. As you can see, they all have medium type bases, just the three of them. Anyway, this is Nova. I do want to have this repainted really someday because I don't like the black uh, on his costume and the blue is quite dark. I do want, you know, eye popping kind of blue. Eye candy blues, not this like dark blue that we use. Behind him is we have Gladiator, the black version. The edition size for this is just 10 pieces. Uh, the reason I bought Gladiator is because I do have a I do have a connection with Gladiator because I remember a scene back then when you know uh, Gladiator threw Juggernaut to the ocean and that's quite memorable to me since Juggernaut was quite strong so I think Gladiator is stronger. So when I bought this, that's at the time I decided to buy the Annihilator line though I don't know anything about their story. Next to that is we have Ronan. This is probably like the best Rodan in the market. I see the price on this guy go up uh, like up to 1800 US dollar or 2000. I did encounter a few problems with him uh, like the cape won't fit but you know just hit lowering something uh, easily fix the statue. So definitely no regrets there. Not gonna have him repainted since I already like the metallic greens. And finally the last statue is we have this diorama of Thanos and Silver Surfer. I bought this because I wanted to uh, support that commissioner friend of mine because he helped me, you know, navigate through the custom world. And so far, this scope looks still pretty good to me. It's not the usual, you know, very sharp looking sculpt, but this is a pretty good Thanos doll, and especially because this one is based from a comic cover. Once I received my Silver Surfer from the Annihilator line, I'm definitely considering uh, removing this guy and moving him someplace else. Hopefully I can do a like Thanos Shrine similar to that of my Magneto. Okay guys, so we are back here in the studio. Uh, the tour is finished and I'm really sorry that uh, my place is a bit messy. It's always been like that so I didn't bother even cleaning it up. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the uh, statue tour that I did. I know it took a long time for me to actually do the video and I hope that you appreciate that I finally uh, did it. I still have a few uh, other statues that are not here. It's with the painter. It's the XM White Magneto since my copy is leaning again for the second time. I have the custom vision kit. Uh, my Magneto on front is also at the painter's and what else yeah that's about it and i have like five statues that i still need to unbox there's also a few more that are currently coming to me and a lot more on pre-order so i hope you guys uh, stay tuned for all those videos coming and that's it for me this is carl and see you in the next one